Alright, so updates. So I posted the first video to my new YouTube channel yesterday. I kind of meant to make this video first, but things get out of order, so deal with it. Anyway, the new channel is called Red Clay Garage. All right, and on that channel, you're gonna see crap that I work on that's not Jeeps, okay? Not Willys, not Jeeps. You're gonna see Camaros, Cadillacs, Corvettes, Monte Carlos, uh, uh, Chevrolet trucks, one ton 90s model Chevrolet trucks, half tons, a bunch of random crap. You're gonna see all that. So I posted my first video on that channel yesterday I made a post about it on my community tab, but I know most of the people that watch my channel, Red Clay Traveler, don't see that because you, I believe you have to be on the computer to actually see it like on a desktop or a laptop. So it's called Red Clay Garage. If you like my stupid face and you like hearing me ramble and seeing me struggle, just struggle trying to make this old antiquated crap run, then, uh, Go over there, smash the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. It's not going to affect this channel at all. We're still going to be working on Jeeps. We're still going to be working on Willys. We're still going to be doing all that crap. In fact, I intended to have Jubal in here right now, and I was going to do that. But it's been raining a lot. I've been working on Monte Carlos. And then guess what happened today? Let's just, let's just let's just have a talk about what happened today. So this damn CJ5 right here has been running phenomenal. It's been going great. It's been wonderful. I drove up in the mountains the other day. I had a date with this nice girl. Went up into the mountains. Everything was fine. It drove fine. Never missed a lick. Drove it probably 50, 60 miles round trip. No problems. Park it. It's been raining a lot, so I haven't been driving it. Go to crank it today, and this son of a biscuit, I just, it won't idle, it won't do shit. And it, the thing is, is it tore itself up just sitting there, okay? Now, if I wanted this, I would swing by my local Ford dealership and pick me up one of those. But since I don't want that in my life, I've dealt with that enough years ago, all right? I don't, I don't want that, but today, it's been letting me down, hard, hard letting me down, and I just, I, I don't know, because you've seen me go from hating on it to loving it, and now it's going gonna, it's gonna to mess around, and it's going to get, it's going to get the hate again, so I checked to make sure it was getting adequate fuel, it was, I made sure the fuel filter wasn't clogged, it's not, checked the spark plugs, they're not fouled, uh, I even checked the timing. I adjusted the throttle or the idle on it, even though it's been fine this whole time. I adjusted that. It didn't do diddly squat. So I don't know what's wrong with it. It makes me violent, okay? I want to choose violence when my CJ5 does this. I saved this from a toothless man up in Tennessee Brought it back from the brink of destruction. It was nothing like it appears right now. I saved this thing, okay? Poured my love into it. And this is what it this is what it does, okay? God, it's like my ex-girlfriend. I'm telling you, it's just relentless. Why? 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 You try to love it, and then what's it do? It stabs you. It pulls a Brutus on me like Julius Caesar on the Senate floor, just right in the back, okay? So I feel as if it's something to do with the extremely cheap HEI distributor. I just I feel like that's what it could be because when I adjusted the timing, it did help it, but then it's not holding. So it's almost like it's not holding timing. So... Uh, which I don't believe a timing chain on it. I don't think that's it. I think it's I think it's just this Chinese distributor may be uh, malfunctioning. I don't know. Uh, I pulled it in the shop here because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. You know, because we're in the Amazon River Basin and all it does is rain. So we're gonna. I don't know, I might mess with it here for a second. I don't know, I'm pretty emotional about this because that I was gonna go, so 
my birthday is here in a few days. I'm going to let y'all guess. How old do you think I am? People have told me that they think I'm 40. They think I'm 35. I've had them say 45. I've had them say 29. I've had them say 23. So what I'm saying is, is most of the time when they guess, they're guessing that I'm dramatically older than I am. And what all I have to say is it's been a hard road to hoe. Okay, that's all I'm saying. It's been rough. It's rough out here for the Red Clay Traveler. It ain't all sunshine and rainbows and you know all that. Most of the time it's kind of like, like, uh, like you're the baker on the Titanic. You just want to tie one on and let it sink. You know what I'm saying? But I was going to take it up into the mountains have a camp out with my buddy, take the Jeep up there and enjoy it thoroughly. And now it's doing this. So it's probably going to get punished and I'm probably not going to take it. So I might take Jubal. I'll probably just take my 98 Chevrolet that's got 300,000 miles on it that runs like a Singer sewing machine, okay? I'll probably just take it because it couldn't let me down if it tried, okay? I would like to take Jubal, but Jubal's throw out bearing is screaming like a banshee, so I don't know. Plus, I haven't driven Jubal in a while because I've been pouring my love into this good forsaken CJ5 that doesn't care about me. I've been doing that a lot. So Jubal knows I've been cheating on him. <laughs> God, I've been cheating on him hard with this rig, and it's just, it's not paying dividends. It's not. Um, so let's pop the hood and see if I can have a mad fit and we'll, we'll go from there. How about that? How about that? Does that sound good? Sounds good. All right. So anyway, anyway my birthday is on the 12th, okay? It's the day after 9-11 and the day uh, before my grandfather died, which is always, it's just a very happy time of year. It's just fantastic. So... Uh, I was going to try to enjoy myself in the mountains, cook some steaks, cigar, stuff like that. But the CJ, the CJ5 apparently has better ideas. Now, once again, spark plugs, fine. Unplug the fuel line to the carb. It's pumping fuel like it's got a leg wet, okay? It's fine, all right? I don't know what it is, and it offends me. So we're gonna, I don't know, I just got this feeling like it might be the springs in there on the weights and the top of this distributor. Uh, maybe one of those springs broke, and so at idle, it's not doing its job, I don't know. Uh, contrary to what people think, I'm not a mechanic at all. I never claim to be. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to see what happens here. All I know is it makes me want to just scream. I know that. looks fine. Seeing at highway speed, it doesn't stumble none, okay? Zero stumble in it, second you let out the throttle. You're still in gear. Second you let out the throttle, it quits. Like once it comes down to a lower RPM, immediately quits. So I don't rightly know what what that might be. So we're gonna we're gonna see what's going on. I just feel like it might be distributor related. I don't know why. I just kind of feel that way. Um, I did initially think that it was a couple of uh, vacuum lines that were sucking air. It's kind of what I thought at first because there was a couple of those that were leaking air that weren't before so i i plugged those it made as they would say in the military no effect okay i don't know if the carburetor has got some another military term here some fod in it 
which would be considered foreign object damage. I don't know if it's got some of that going on. Uh, I don't know. Oh, by the way, uh, when I was working on, on uh, that 1972 Monte Carlo today, if you're going to change the brake rubber hose that runs for the caliper on a 1972 Monte Carlo, they made that with an Allen. So when you go to take it off the caliper, it's got an Allen. And it's the shallowest Allen you've ever seen. Now, fortunately for me, somebody, before I ever touched it, had already stripped it very nicely for me, which is just... It's just exactly what you want. Let go, damn it. Uh, so I almost got that job completed until that Allen decided to do what Allens always do. Uh, so I'm going to have to order one of those. And of course, this looks fantastic. It looks literally brand new because it is. It is brand new. The springs are perfect. No wires here are cut. Everything's plugged in. Spring, both of them. Nothing's bound up or hemmed. <sighs> yeah, so, so that's cool. This uh, button doesn't look bad. So we're just going to put that back on because there's nothing wrong with it and uh, go about our our little check through here since the CJ5 wants to just be worthless. It's just like I say, it's just, it's just like my ex-girlfriend. You could put as much love into this thing as you want and what's it going to do? It's going to talk shit and leave you depressed and ashamed okay that's what it's gonna do it's just you know I just you know what I, I don't know why I couldn't have different hobbies why why can't I just not be who I am you know what I'm saying like just so now I'm going to take the carburetor off, possibly throw it across the room. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um, it's possible because it was leaking profusely uh, from this upper gasket for some reason, like it was flooding for some reason. Uh, that's how it honestly was acting, was like the choke was on, even though the choke was in fact not on because I took the air cleaner off and I was looking at it. So... That one's the one that will not clip. Okay, so let's back on. Yeah, so let's, let me grab my microphone so you might can hear me. I'm a little keyed up, as you can tell. I'm just, I'm a little emotional about all this because, you know, when you spend just thousands of dollars of money you don't have and you're wearing an extremely wrinkled shirt like this, and you just, you know, you just, oh, you just, you just want to go Jeep. You just, you just want to, you just, you just want to get in your Jeep, driving. That's all you want. That's it. That's all you want. I'm not asking for much. I just want to enjoy my Jeep, and I'm not allowed. So, so we're just gonna. It's okay. I might take a few moments and cry here in a moment. I definitely need a new valve cover gasket because this thing is early. It's like some Earl Grey tea over here. It's so early. I'm telling you. It's leaking oil profusely. So, so what you have here is a brand new carburetor that's only been on this Jeep like six months and maybe has 150 miles on it. So you would think that it wouldn't be being worthless, but you'd be wrong. So it was leaking profusely from this quadrant that you can't see. Um, I don't know why. 
it makes me sad. Um, so I reckon we're gonna snatch this carb off of here and see if it's got some, you know, I don't know what dirt dauber nests in it, a, uh, you know, a Lego, some beech nut chewing tobacco, I, you know, something like that. We're gonna see if any of that's in there and uh, go from there, I guess, because that's, that's what we do now. Wrench, but I don't know. And my wrenches are all missing because I don't know where they are. Oh. Ha ha! 916 so I knew it, that's why I brought it with me. Alright. We knew a guy that owned a CJ5. When they were brand new, I mean, it was sparkling new, right? And he told us it was the only vehicle he'd ever owned that could tear itself up sitting in the driveway. I'm talking this vehicle's like a year old. Bought it brand new. Said he drove it out to, I think, Colorado, and that it was the worst experience of his life because it broke down like every 15 miles. And he eventually sold it because he literally couldn't deal with it anymore. Now that was a V8 Jeep, as far as I know, and they had absolute ass distributors on them, most of them. The engine itself is a good engine, it's just the, uh, the fire machine is not exactly the best. Um, so we don't have this problem, we got six in a row ready to tow, and we've got a fully functional distributor over here. GM style, so uh, we shouldn't be dealing with any of this right now. We should be out just jeeping it till your heart explodes. So, I don't know. Hopefully, this carb. Let me turn the camera so you can see my just beautiful face while I'm struggling. I got this thing, everybody, all the men in my family, you still can't see me. Uh, all the men in my family do this grimace. I'm sure y'all have seen it on the channel when I'm working on stuff. I'm always grimacing. Uh, that's kind of a, a family thing where you do, you do like that while you're working on stuff. I don't know, it just seems to make stuff better. Let go. Let go. Well, there's that nut. Gonna unhook the choke. And this fuel line. See? See how it's got plenty of fuel? It's just. It's just. It just. It, it, it makes me sad. You know? And I never did go to Jeep Fest. I looked at some of the pictures. I saw this picture of Jeep Fest up in Jasper, Georgia. And they, 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 there was thousands of Jeeps up there. And I'm looking at this picture. Didn't see one CJ5. I didn't even see any CJ7s. I'm sure there was some there. Surely to God, there was some men there representing some of the older Jeeps, I hope so anyway. I'm glad I didn't go up there since mine was gonna represent AMC for what it's known for. Uh, but I didn't get to go up there. I was thinking about going to Sonoya to that Jeep event, but you know, since the CJ5 is, is uh, being emotional with me right now, I don't know if we're gonna do that. It might have to be punished. All right, here's the carburetor that's filled to the brim with gas, by the way. You know why I know that? It's because it just poured it all over my leg and into several cuts on my hand. 
because you may not remember those cuts on your hand, but brake clean, gasoline, it remembers. So let's uh let's let's bring you down a notch and take a little bit of space here to work on this carburetor that I guarantee you when we open it up there's literally nothing in it. So we're gonna be optimistic. There's gonna be something in it. Here's a creepy bear right here. This probably came out of the Camaro behind me, I would imagine. I don't know, but it's disturbing. Let's lay out one of these mats so that we can keep all of our tiny parts. somewhat in one place. There you go. Red Clay Traveler's carburetor repair. All right. What are we gonna need? We're gonna need a couple screwdrivers. Meanwhile, by the way, the rally sport behind me is uh, we gotta get a radiator for it. We took the radiator up there to this local guy who's pretty good at fixing radiators and he said it was it was a lost cause. It's so it's bueno. So I have to get us another radiator for it. But he has my brother has cranked it a few more times and it seems to run well. Uh concern it's got a carburetor on it that has been touched in 20 plus years you know it doesn't have a, a brand new one like this one but it's okay it's it's fine we try not to you know, dwell on the on the past you know it's just being just being a positive you know take off our ring here and see if we can't figure out what in the sam hell is going on with this unit I really don't want to take this apart. Why are you just leaking everywhere? Okay, are you done? God. All right, let's see. We can leave that one on. Let me turn it where you can actually see me. My hand's just coated in oil and gas. I'm trying not to get it all over my camera. See this, it, was, it appeared to be leaking from this gasket right here, which is, uh, brand new you can tell that it's brand new as a uh, vice grip garage would say you can tell it's new by the way that it is as he says uh, so it's possible that it's blowed out it's possible that these screws have backed loose because this jeep shimmies down the road like a coverless wagon it's not even got a cover on it it ain't good enough for that. It's no cover. Hey, Brian Poole, if you're watching this, could you just go ahead and like, I don't know, like fix this like real quick? Anyway, as I was saying before I was interrupted, hey, Brian Poole, would you, would you fix this? If you fix this, Brian Poole, then maybe you get something special. That's all I'm saying, you know? Throw in this weird, creepy bear. I don't know. Let's see. Are these nice and taut? That one sure is. That one is. I really don't want to take this apart right now. I just don't. I just don't want to. I just. That one wouldn't loose either.
All right, well, we'll just take the top off of it here and see what's going on. Our fresh rebuilt carb that there's no reason for me to even be taking apart right now. Well, this thing's ran amazing since I put it on. I didn't even have to adjust it or anything when I put it on the Jeep. It was just like perfect. So. This is rather fun. I've never taken one of these carters apart. I've taken apart the old ones on the willies, which are a lot different. They're the same, they're different. It's like downtown, only different. Uh, they're, this is basically a new version of that old carter. So I'm hoping that there's nothing in here that I'm gonna destroy or break. And if it does, I'll just order another one. You know, we'll just uh, we'll just keep slamming carburetors on it till something something works. You know what I'm saying? See what happens. All right, our float looks fine. Nothing going on with that. That appears to be kosher. It's got a thumbprint, several thumbprints on it, I guess, from where they cleaned it or put it in. That appears to be fine. Our choke apparatus is fine. Let's see. Our, it was getting fuel because I could look inside it and see fuel pumping in. So it was getting fuel. Let's put this down against the creepy bear. I mean, there's a little bit of just little bit of stuff in there but nothing nothing crazy certainly nothing that I would think would uh, cause problems but it's all kosher looking that looks fine this this jet right here is a little corroded up. This one is. Yeah, it's got some crap on it. Maybe, maybe it's clogged. See, it's got this, like, residue on it. can't see through it so it it might be clogged up maybe that's the culprit right there it could be do we have any cleaner probably not carb cleaner brake cleaner there's some starter fluid that don't work Got plenty of PB blast. Why does all this smell so good? I'm telling you, it's just I hear these guys like this stuff smells nasty. I don't know what you're talking about. This stuff smells amazing. All is poison. It all smells good.
There's that ball and this little plunger thing. I'm going to clean in there. It appears to be open. Put a ball back in there. This thing's a little grimy. See, now I can see through this. It's still got a little bit of crap in it, so let's blow it out. playing music for y'all. Alright, so checking that out. That that appeared to be plugged a little bit, so let's uh let's hope that that makes a difference. Go ahead and pop that back in. we got going on in here. Are these tight? Yeah. Like I say, this is a real nice rebuild. I mean, it, it looked brand new when I got it, so I really don't think it's a whole lot going on to mess with it here. Needle appears to be fine. So the spring in it seems to be working. See nothing wrong here. And there is a little bit of grime in here, but nothing crazy. I know this is probably like watching paint dry, and if it makes you feel any better, I'm not enjoying it either, so. I'd much rather just be out there ripping up the roads on my CJ5, but it had other ideas today for some reason. Let's just hope that it was that jet there that was clogged up, and then now everything's fine. it definitely had some crust on it. And then we'll, uh, we'll slam it back on real quick, see what happens. See if it's just restored now, because it, it should be. I wonder what Blackbeard would do about this. I wonder if the carburetor on the Queen Anne Revenge ever ever gave him any trouble. You know, like, you think he ever went to, like, pillage and stuff, and he's like, you know, boys, that carburetor on our 440 is acting up again. So we're going to have to pass up on this whole venture. I bet that frustrated him. 
Maybe that's why he beats the Queen Anne's Revenge. Because there's significant evidence that he did it on purpose. But it wasn't not an accident. Alright, so let's pop this plug back on here. Plug that. Let's see, is our throttle? Throttle seems to be working. That one went right there. Alright. Carburetor on there. Let's hook our spring back up. That's good. We'll go ahead and hook our throttle. Why not? That manifold's really hot. Because this is what the real life of owning a Jeep is like. This is what it is. You work on it, it's fine. Then it's not fine. Then it's fine again. Then you think about selling it, driving a Fiat. Like an actual Fiat, not a Jeep, new Jeep, but like the like you know, the, their little Fiat. Then you think about how maybe you should just buy, you know, like I don't know, smart car. You don't want to tighten these too much because you'll bend the ears on the carb so you got to be delicate but you don't want it too loose either because then it'll leak like a sieve don't want that either you just got to finesse it basically it's all about finesse all right now you take your fuel line plug it back in and you take your stupid choke Come on. All right, let's uh, crank it up and watch it um, you know, be worthless. How about that? Does that sound good? Sounds good. All right, let's try.
And my battery died yet again. Hang on. Look at this Camaro real quick. Microphone is working. All right. Battery died again. Anyway, maybe I jumped the gun. You hear an idling right there. Maybe I jumped it. Maybe I shouldn't have compared it to ex-girlfriends because none of that bullshit was as easy to resolve as just cleaning out a jet real quick. Uh, so, all right. I love you. CJ Phil. Sorry I said those hurtful things. But that's what happens. When you love passionately, that's what happens. It is still idled up a little much, but that could be the timing. Mess with the time. The camera shuts off again. I'm going to scream. Standing in the sea at the end of your day tomorrow. Fast all the glory, basking in it of all that you have accomplished. I'm Ray Clay Traveler. Don't forget, Willie's for life, Jeep for life. Keep on keeping on. And don't don't compare your CJ5 to, to uh, no account women. That's hurtful. Or no account men. Whatever. Don't do that. It's hurtful. Night drive.